Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 177 of the G-Game Podcast. I'm your host as always, I am Tyler, and joining me, we have the Colonel, oh Captain, my Captain, we have Admiral. Colonel Gables. What's up buddy? Oh, hey everybody. <laughs> Boy do I have some stories for you up on the old <laughs> ship. But, to be perfectly honest with you, oh man, I'm, I'm doing pretty well, I mean... One hell of a crazy week for everything from political standpoint, for video game standpoint, but this is a video game podcast, so we're going to delve into a little story that I have, and it involves why the hell that you don't buy games from Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a six-hour show later. So, oh my god. But anyway, I went ahead and I got my Xbox One S out of layaway last Saturday, which we did the whole podcast stuff and, you know, blah, 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 blossom and so forth. So later on that night, I was playing my Xbox One and I kept noticing my button, my A button on my controller kept on sticking. And I was kind of wondering why that was, you know, and I, I just looked at thing, okay, maybe I should just clean it a little bit, you know, clean it with uh, some, like, Q-tip or something like that with some rubbing alcohol, see if I could just get it inside the seams right there that uh, it would help probably lubricate it so the darn thing would not like stick so much because i thought it was like hard plastic or something like that that was like uh you know in the, in there so the thing wouldn't like uh you know press so clearly and stuff so i tried that the next day i tried using the controller and uh yeah the controller still had issues i mean it would it worked maybe a little bit but as soon as uh as like an hour or so went by and stuff, it started to stick again. So instead of going through and putting, getting, like spending an entire $60 on a new controller, I went ahead and I returned my entirety of my Xbox One S to the store and I switched it out in exchange with another bundle with the, of the same price, of course. And so the bundle I turned in was a Minecraft thing and I had already redeemed the Minecraft stuff because, hey, I didn't know my fucking controller was going to be shit. So... I got the Battlefield 1 edition of, like, uh, the Xbox One S, you know, that came with Battlefield 1 and a month of EA Access. So, I have that, and I'm so glad that I have that available and stuff. I haven't had any other issues with my Xbox One S after that exchange, so that's good. Now comes the second part of the story right here. A couple days ago, I bought a, pre- a pre-owned a Xbox 360 game. Now, that sounds all nice and good. Okay, you bought a cheap Xbox 360 game, and uh, come the next day, I was trying to play it, and it wouldn't work. I mean, yeah, it would say the... it. I mean, yeah, the thing said it wasn't compatible with, like, the Xbox One and stuff like that, so I checked the disc. Now, bear in mind, when Walmart puts out these pre-owned discs, the whole aspect of it is they were supposed to refurbish, and they're supposed to be able to guarantee to work. It says so on the little sticker package whenever you, like, look at their pre-owned games. So I take a look at the disc, and the disc is warped to shit, pretty much. It was, it had this big old, like, grayish sort of blob, like, right on the back of the disc, and it looked like this thing had been through hell in a handbasket. I mean, before I even put it inside that Xbox One S, it looked like that. But, uh, yeah, I ended up returning that back to Walmart and stuff, and getting a little... And getting reimbursed for that. 
And uh, so, to introduce a little bit of, like, say, what we'll be talking about later, just a little tidbit of what we'll be talking about later and stuff, the whole thing about the NES, the NES Mini, I tried to get my hands on an NES Mini earlier on this morning, but I was lied to by an electronics Walmart associate who kept reaffirming me, oh, hey, I'm not sure if they'll have like a midnight launch or have anything else like that. We'll go, just go ahead and come back around 7 a.m. And so that was this morning. I went and I woke up. My family and stuff, they're my only means of transportation because I don't own any type of cars or anything. So we all get up. We go make a truck to Walmart around 6-something in the morning. And uh, my mom and I go inside there because she wants to get one for my little brother who has special needs because he loves his Nintendo. And no, not a single one. Apparently, the electronics associate that was working there told us that the, there was a midnight launch the night previous, and that they had gotten six copies, like six copies. There were no controllers. There weren't even any type of, like, things like that at all. They told me, okay, we ordered about 100. We got about six of them, which I interpreted as, oh, okay, so you just put about six of them out there, and you're going to hoard the rest for fucking Black Friday. And you know what? I have been angry for the better part of today because... I don't like being lied to my face. I don't like when people go and mess around what they shouldn't be messing around with. Because you know what? Even though my <laughs> little tag for like from the guys call me Colonel Gables, there is some truth. There is some truth that I get fucking angry with people, <laughs> and I get angry over fucking stupid shit. Like you just That's what people do. <laughs> stupid shit. <laughs> <laughs> so. Honestly, I didn't want to, like, uh, marinate inside the hodgepodge of shit that was uh, the Walmart's quote-unquote video game section anymore. So I went ahead and I just got a little bit, I just got, like, a Hulu subscription and I've been watching TV and stuff like that for the later part of the day and stuff while I wasn't doing errands. So, yeah, in a nutshell, yeah, don't, I learned three things. One, never put up in console layaway at Walmart. Two... Never buy any of their pre-owned shit. And three, never talk to their electronics associate when they have a big console launch. Because they probably don't know shit. (laughs) No. (laughs) I had the same issue with the Gold Mario Amiibo. Oh, God. (laughs) First of all, it took an hour for someone to actually answer the phone. (laughs) I finally got a hold of somebody and they had to be in a hole for about ten minutes to to go find out. Walmart's the reason I have... Tre- or toad tracker. Yeah. <laughs> toad tracker. <laughs> Can toad tracker? Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> did... <laughs> <laughs> Justin's got tears streaming on his face right now. <laughs> Digitally. <laughs> the, the reason Captain, I have digitally. Captain Toad. Captain Toad, thank you so yeah. much. Treasure tracker. <laughs> <laughs> the reason. I think it's, I think it's better time than like, any. Captain who? Like at midnight, like, oh yeah, you guys, you put your games out at midnight. He had no idea what a Wii U was. No idea what I was talking about. I was like, I was going Oh my go. god. <laughs> was the dude in his 70s or something? No, he was like my age or younger. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, well, Walmart and their associates. They like, don't know shit. Um, Captain Toad? <laughs> you guys back. know? I don't think you guys have Captain Toad mystery he's package? <laughs> yeah, he's walking the back. He's just like, eh, it's been three Captain minutes. Toad. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. But I think it's a better time than any just to say it's like a, so how have rocket. you been, Tyler? <laughs> oh man, you're all right. Doing uh doing good. I had a nice little four day weekend last week, so that was nice. To recharge the batteries. Yay. I can't take this seriously right now. Justin's been crying for like six minutes now. <laughs> laughing. I don't know why. He just he just goes to the back to try to find the game and he just comes out with a random little mushroom sorry, or everybody. something like that. Hey, here's your laughing. mystery package. I need anything of what I want. Well, go take it anyway. <laughs> Scram. This is a bad time to introduce that Justin's here. <laughs> Hello. How's What's up, buddy? How you doing? How's Toe Tracker? <laughs> you know, it's 
two pretty good. <laughs> that game was fantastic. <laughs> it was fun. Came out four years ago. <laughs> no, it was great. Yeah. Bless you. Thank you. How are you doing? Oh, doing all right. You're doing good. Doing all right, man. Doing all right. Yeah. Hanging in there. Yeah. <laughs> doing a little better than you are right now. <laughs> you got tears all the way down your face right now. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, uh, <clears throat> one question. Uh, when you were a kid and your mom said, go grab the fly swatter, or was it a flice water? Flice? I just want, I want to know. <laughs> I have my answer. <laughs> that's, that's why. That should what give was you, it? Flice water. Flice? No. Or a fly swatter. Fly swatter. It was fly swatter. <laughs> Mine was always flice water. Your mom said this? totally confused. Jessica fleece the water. water, but I thought it was a fleece water, not like a fly swatter, like you're like, swatting a fly, like a, like a like a bowl, of, like water of water. I for thought the it was fly? something like that, like a fleece <laughs> of water. But like you I grab thought, it. I thought she just, I thought she just went and told you to go fleece the water. It's like, how do I do that? You just put your hands in it. It's just the weirdest thing I thought about today. Yeah. Well, it makes you think you know what it's, it's called. And you, oh yeah, and like people say it, it's still in your head. It's like. It's a flice water, not a flice water. I know, it sounds like I'm saying the same thing. It's, 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 it's like PetSmart, it's, PetSmart kind of thing. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I was curious. <laughs> well, that's all. Doing good over here. Uh, so Obviously. I apologize for laughing. Uh, <laughs> <whew>. <laughs> yeah, things are funny in my head right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't help it. <laughs> Everything's going good, though. It's good. Yeah. Well, alrighty then. It's a warm November evening. It is. Evening. I'll take that. <laughs> take that. Every, every, anytime. Especially in November. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's getting a little dark earlier. I'm not a big fan of that, though. Yeah. I'm like, I, I want to go to bed at like 7 o'clock. Oh. Totally. Uh, Gabe, Colonel Gables, thank you very yeah. much for your story because I think we forgot to talk about Halloween stories this October. Oh, that's right. We yeah. did, huh? We had cut, I was say week, but we had cut last week short because of uh, yep. Jake had to go to sleep early. But. Yeah. Yeah. But like, Which, by the way, he's not here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Jake's not here. We got some other stories, so that's cool. Yeah. Did you want to say something? Did you want to tell a story? Or? Yeah, oh, go no. ahead, man. No, I actually, <laughs> oh. I actually didn't have one to say oh. right now, but I was just saying that's cool that uh. yeah, he told some stories because, hey, we got some hey, stories. Even though we missed the, the Halloween stories because those were fun last year. So. Yeah. I remember. Oh yeah, I forgot. Like we sat like in the yeah. dark and watched weird YouTube, creepy YouTube videos. Yeah, we. That's uh, right. That was the one year and stuff where I kept um, like thinking you guys fucking photoshopped me to a fucking image of the video with your fucking like Skype. You kept laughing hysterically while I was. Yeah, like, like you guys do. Oh my god! Wait, like, was that that night? That was the same night. Yeah. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I, want a, I want a picture. On People my don't know. Uh, we were on, on a t-shirt. Skype video call, <laughs> and I uh, my background <laughs> was a picture of Gabe. <laughs> for some weird reason, and then I took the the, the little tiny box of uh, the, the video chat. And I put it on Gabe's forehead, and then I just copied it like eight times. So we had like eight of them, eight pictures of Gabe. He was pic- inside of himself. <laughs> yeah, multiple times. <laughs> Being uh, Colonel Gables Malkovich. Yes, it was like <laughs> it was like a uh, the, like the House of Mirrors, but House of Gables. Oh yeah, House of Gables. <laughs> You just also, see house, the house that Gables built. Yes. Uh, he also um, wrote uh, the song Jump Around. House Gables. Yes, he did. Uh, <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> jump, 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 jump around. Jump up and get Gables. Jump, jump. Ow, don't get me so hot. Ow, don't get me so hot. But anyways, <laughs> this is a weird tangent. We're gonna yeah. we're going on a weird tangent again, and we're gonna make Jack, Jake mad. Can't get the tangents, guys. Um, <laughs> no, uh, what what we jumping to? What was the Jake is gone. Jake is gone. I mentioned. I did mention that vaguely. Oh, you did. Sorry, yeah, he's not here. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know where he's at. I you called miss, him. You missed you. Miss Jake. He's not listening. No. Uh, but no. Uh, why don't we uh, discuss what we've been playing? Or actually, first. Before we jump into that, Extra Life happened. Yes. Yeah. That was a thing. Uh, I guess Jake's not here, so we can't talk about his. Gables, how was your Extra Life? Well, you know, my Extra Life thing wasn't so bad. 
I was dealing with uh, having to exchange and, you know, that whole Xbox One dealy, but I spent the whole duration of my extra life trying to play a bit of my games and stuff like that, and it was, it was just so weird because my extra life thing was really incredibly crazy. Not only the exchanging of the whole Xbox One thing, but uh, after so many months of uh, my mom, like, going through, like, her stroke stuff and stuff, she finally got her money from the government, finally, mm-hmm. after about a year and stuff from Social Security, and, uh, well, let's just say that uh, there were more important things that I had to get on doing and stuff during the whole day of Saturday, but... The <laughs> the thing about it is extra life in its entire entirety and stuff. I raised like a total of like forty bucks. I didn't do too bad or something like that. I mean, granted, I am kind of disappointed, but at the same time, I did help out what I could. Plus, everything else sort of happened at the same time to where okay, I had to help my family with like with Aaron stuff because of this event happening, and I had to return my Xbox One S to exchange because this thing happened and stuff. It. And then on top of that, just, like, like uh, going through, trying to advertise my thing. And then just that night, I was so dead exhausted from, like, uh, doing everything that day. It's like, I had to cut it short. I had to cut the Extra Life thing short. I could not go through the entire night. I just basically game for about, I would think, maybe seven, eight hours max or something like that. And I just conked out, you know, because that was just it for me. Yeah. yeah. But uh, what about you guys? Is well, Tyler's thing. Uh, so for me, I I, um, I didn't get a lot of sleep that night, uh, Friday night. Uh, Thurs- well, night, night before that, Thursday night, I took my sister to the uh, the modern, modern warfare or not modern warfare midnight uh, uh, midnight thing for Infinite Warfare. Had to work the next day, so I only got a few hours of sleep. Then we recorded the night before, uh, Friday night. You before. were up pretty late too. Uh, a little after midnight. Oh, was uh, but then I woke up like six o'clock and I was too excited. I come back to sleep, but then I kind of lollygagged around quite a bit, and I went to the store, grabbed some shit for the day. So I ended up starting at like nine forty-five, uh, and I started. I played a little bit of Madden like I always do for extra life. First few hours of that was that was Madden. Uh, then I'm like, oh cool, finally jump into Recore, jump to that, played that for a few hours. I'm like, I'm gonna go jump into something else. I realized I didn't have a lot of options this year as far as games to play. So yeah. I ended up a large chunk of my time for Extra Life was Madden and Extra Life. I actually, um, so I was doing 25 hours uh, with Daylight Savings Time. We were going, I was going from 9, 9.45 to 9.45 Sunday. Um, we, uh, jumped, we were in a party most day, full party, eight people. And then about one o'clock, people started just dropping off. <laughs> like, and just, all not just like leaving the party and going on, like just completely, like, PS4, Xbox One turned off kind of thing. Like, yeah. I think he just fell asleep kind of shit. Like, we're all doing extra life together and everybody just... Uh, so, about, I don't know, one thirty, one forty-five uh in the morning, uh, I was like, I realized I was the only first left in the party. I'm like, oh, <laughs> shit. And I'm, we played, oh, we, we did play Rock, Rocket League for a while and then they were down, they went down for maintenance like one o'clock in the morning. Oh, that sucks. And, yeah, so we were playing that for a couple hours and then that happened so that kind of killed the mood of everything. So that's kind of when everything went downhill. Uh, and I uh, got extremely uh, tough after that point yeah. where I was like I took a shower that used bought me some time and uh, trying to stay awake sitting in my chair and playing I just went back to Recore uh, playing that and I was doing like the head like the head knob thing where your eyes like oh yeah so my, you can't yeah the nod forward wakes you up a little bit yeah and like the jerking motion you're like okay that bought me like 10 more minutes here okay <laughs> and you're just like oh okay so finally about uh somewhere between 440 and 450 in the morning i actually fell asleep playing recore oh nice um yeah i woke up about 45 minutes later and i was in this instant loop of me dying and reloading dying loading <laughs> so i uh for the first time ever i did not make it through extra life uh I ended up like I'm like I can't I gotta go to sleep. So about this year, yeah. Um, it was just like a tough year, just because um, normally we uh, we always in a party like pretty much most of the time, usually the entire time. Uh, and this year, uh, as far as the group goes, the community goes, the people uh, there wasn't a, didn't seem like there was there was still we had a full party, but it didn't seem like there was as many. And then there wasn't like that big game everybody was playing. No, we went back to Rocket League. Uh, 
So people played Minecraft for a while together. I'm actually surprised that you guys didn't play a little bit of like Battlefield One if you guys had that, you know, because that was uh, like, the big game that released. Oh, yeah. did uh, you have that? At the time? I didn't have. Well, I had. I rented it for Xbox One, but they're playing PS4. Oh. Um, but they people they played for a few hours of it, but there wasn't like that. Outside of the couple hours of Rock League, there was not like that big community game. So that's. Oh, that like they're on the, I was on the PS4 chat and I was playing my uh, re, uh, record on Xbox One the entire time, so right. most of the time. Um, so I ended up, I was off Monday and Tuesday and I just ended up doing the final like five hours on uh, Monday morning. Oh, I knocked out my final five. Make up for it. A little disappointed with that, but uh, hey, you I... You still did it. Yeah. It was... It was different. It's, I fought it, but yeah. It was, different turn of events in like the last few that you're probably used to, but... Yeah. Uh, like... The last yeah. couple of years, I remember like it's got to happen. Yeah, uh, like last year, I remember Jake uh, and Gables and I were playing Borderlands Two for most of the, like middle of the night. Yeah, and that's really like the time like where you where you want to play games with people. It's, like, oh yeah, definitely. Kind of, like that's like the toughest. Like once I get the morning, like that final like stretch, I usually pretty good. Yeah. It's like that eleven p.m. to like four or five AM is like the that that like that's the hardest part for me. Oh my gosh, that whole like uh grind that you and I did last year and stuff where it was like like three o'clock and something in the morning and like well for my time and stuff and I'm playing yeah. limbo and you're like just trying to play whatsoever and stuff and just like we were just dead silent and stuff and it's like yeah. Justin came on, you know, just to have a little bit of encouragement or something in the chat party and it's like eh. Yeah. Just like even if you're not even talking that much, just having just, like people like Dude. Around help. Next time, man, don't be afraid to call me or text yeah. me. I don't care. But uh, yeah. So it was a, it was a. I still had a lot of fun. Uh, raised some money for a good cause. Uh, already excited for next year. Uh, oh yeah. And people can still donate. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Through this. Yeah, it goes on uh, to the end of the year. Cool. I think it's like I heard two. I heard like mid December or like December thirty first. Okay. So I'm not quite sure which one, but extra-life.org, check it out. Uh, you can donate. You can still do it. A lot of people are still doing it this weekend. I've talked to a few people that are just doing it this weekend. I know, awesome. Gabe, you plan on doing some hours uh, on yes. Saturday? I'm actually Showing planning on up. doing some hours tomorrow because, well, hell, I only had a few like during last weekend, and I know one of my friends is also doing like his uh, 24-hour stream and stuff, so it's like I'm trying to get... Some hours back, and hopefully I'm going to just uh, try to play something. Okay. Very cool. Um, Want to play something? Let me know. Yeah. Uh, whatever. Um, but yeah, let's uh, go ahead and jump, jump in what, uh, what we were playing. Uh, I'm going to start with uh, Josie. Yo. Well, uh, last week I said that I got an Xbox One. Yep. I haven't really got a chance to play any games on it yet. But I got to, like, update it, and I finally got my uh, stuff transfer, which actually took a long time. About a week or so. Finally got that transferred over, like, my uh, account and everything from my Xbox 360. Um, yes. Uh, I, I, like I said, I haven't played many games on it yet. I, I did some weird stat things, like, just with... Since I have all three consoles now, the current generation... I did uh, just weird little things just for fun. Uh, three little things, three tests, uh, time limit wise, and uh, each system. Uh, okay, the first one was like, okay, when you when you push power on the console, and how quick you can get into a game when you see like the screen. Yeah. I did a test for all three of them. Uh, it might be kind of misleading because I think about it like. On the PS4, you can have it like in standby mode, and it's completely off. And the Wii U is always in standby mode, I think. Yeah. It so is. it's. But I did I did PS4 straight from cold. No. Yeah. So I always have I never have it standby mode really, unless I'm charging a controller. But uh, anyways, it's so it's kind of maybe misleading a little bit with that, because the PS4 definitely loses. Uh, Xbox One, 17 seconds. Hmm. Uh, did you have a, Do you have an energy save mode, or do you have an uh, no, I don't have energy save mode. Uh, Xbox One does have energy save mode. No. That just completely, that completely uh, shuts it down. Or you can have it in set up where I'm actually boots it right up. I don't have energy save mode on. Oh, you don't? Them. Okay. Uh, no, I should, probably should, but I don't. Basically, uh, I don't want any of the systems. Okay, well, like, I always turn it off for some reason. Well, energy save mode is actually turning it off completely. Otherwise, oh. it's just like in standby mode. 
Oh, really? So, like, I always have my my Xbox One in, like, basically standby mode. So it just boots up right away. Okay. Uh, Otherwise, if you have an energy save mode, it takes, like, a minute or so before it boots up. Yeah, that's the thing oh, about those old Xbox Ones and stuff like that. They were permanently in standby mode and stuff if you didn't, like, uh, turn it completely off. Or even when you turn off the console, it still had some sort of energy going because of the power brick and everything else and stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fortunately, when it comes to the Xbox One S and stuff, that's not the problem at all. I mean... That's good. It's, uh... I mean... Yeah, mine's an older one, by the way. Yeah, the it's older... Like, like me I, think, yeah, I think you and Tyler have the older models and stuff, and I yep, think yep. I just invest inside the, the newer one. And it's like... Uh, I gotta say, though, it's like the power-saving stuff, It's it doesn't, like, run like a massive beast like the Xbox, the original Xbox One did, but it's like... Yeah, it's it's convenient. It's a little more convenient that way for energy yeah. saving stuff. Um, totally. X, uh, Xbox One for to get to the game screen, seventeen seconds. Yeah. PS Four forty seconds. Huh. Wii U twenty two seconds. Huh. Uh, that's using like the quick start menu. Yeah. Um, and for oh to get to the store from the main menu. Xbox One, four seconds. Mm-hmm. PS4, seven seconds. Wii U, 16 seconds. I believe I've got those. I agree with order. that. Yep. Because, like, the other ones are already loaded on. Yeah. Like, you, pretty much. At least, Xbox One's the fastest one. It is. Yeah, sure. I don't, I just don't, I hate the layout, though, still. Oh, like, for this is, PSN, yeah. Like, for PlayStation's layout. By far, okay, since you brought that up, from what I've done, the, 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 Operating system of the Xbox One is my least favorite out of the three. Yeah. By far. But, I mean, it's still workable. Yeah. It's just, it's just not as intuitive to me. But also, I've only had it for, you know, a couple weeks now. It's, I still have problems. I still don't shit think I times. will like it as much. Yeah. Everything's, it's, I don't know. Looks, yeah, it looks too similar when you, like, because it's just like you push RB and LB to go, like, left and right. Like, mm. the old one, kind of like the folders, but it's like, it looks exactly the same. Yeah. It's, mm-hmm. it's kind of weird. And, like, the icons are very minimalistic, can actually be really good. But for that, it's like, what does that little symbol even mean kind of thing? Yeah. Like, it's almost, like, too minimalistic or something. There. It's just, like, kind of like a really generic looking, kind of like a computer. <laughs> yeah. I know. I don't mind the, like, the, the website sort of two-column, like, layout that they have for, like, their... Uh thing right at the moment. I mean, yeah, it can be a bit of a task to try to find specific games with specific types of movie or TV shows that you want to do. And it is sort mm-hmm. of inconvenient that you have to manually like go ahead and like pin certain icons on your home screen or something like that if you really want to try to get to them quickly without having to go forth in the games and apps menu and having to navigate everything else. Seems too crowded to me. It is crowded. Not very streamlined. But I mean, it, you can get, like I said, if you get used to it, you can get to use it pretty quick. But mm-hmm. it's just Oh, yeah. At first, it's not as intuitive to me. Yeah. Um, that is download speeds for, like, games and stuff. This might surprise people. I've... Okay, I've only downloaded so much on Xbox One. But so far from, like, what I've experienced, like, I, I even looked like certain size games of similarities to them. Like, bigger games on Wii U that I've downloaded than, like, uh, PS4. And uh, just my overall experience, because I had the Wii U and PS4 a long time. I already know that we use downloads way faster, which is t- weird to me. But we use number one, PS4 two, Xbox One three, download speeds. Yeah, they're both about twenty PS4 and Xbox One. That was a couple gigabyte difference, but yeah, the max. I don't know what it is. Like we, well, I don't know if it's my uh, this certain connection on my Wii U is like. I know they have like the same Wi-Fi of PS4 and Wii U, but the Wii is always download stuff faster. Yeah, always. Uh, the, I don't know what it is. The one up, the upside with Xbox One, though, is I was talking about like my internet last week. Uh-huh. Uh, like the 2.4 GHX, uh, GHZ, yeah. or whatever. Uh, the Xbox One does get the 5.0. The PS4 and the Wii U do not get the 5.0. They only get 2.4. Oh, the gigahertz? Huh. Yeah, the gigahertz, yeah. Okay. Uh, so that's the one upside. So I don't have to have my uh, Xbox One uh, hooked in directly. Cool. And I still get like super fast speeds on it. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah. For some reason... Mine's extremely slow, like for especially downloading off like a disc or something. Hmm. Just like, all the install, install, like, yeah. just like wow. I've had problems where I've, I put the disc in and it didn't start the install. I had to like go oh, in there and physically yeah. like push a button and start it. Yeah, there's some weird stuff there for sure. Um. Oh. Okay. So basically, a couple more things because I don't really have much. 
talk about yet, but I will soon with games. I'm kind of waiting to uh, be another game about to talk about. Yeah. But uh, before I start Xbox One stuff. But uh, beyond the console, you got the controller. Uh, I like, I do like the controller. It's comfortable. It's fine. I I think it's, I do not like that it's it's battery powered, like double A battery. I know you can get like a battery pack for it. Yeah, it's like 30 bucks. But bullshit. to me, that's, that's totally a step backwards. Mm-hmm. It is a step backwards. Um, you get a Wii U Pro controller for 60 bucks. The battery life on it is 70 hours. Yep. Uh, also, I wish the Xbox One would have some type of, this just because of the price, like, have some type of gyro thing into it. To me, getting rid of, like, gyro controls in case you want to make a game that has them. Yeah. Kind of a step backwards to me. It's like, and it's still 60 bucks. Uh, but besides that, I like it. It's, it's really comfortable. It, it's, I, I'm not saying it's really comfortable. It's, it's just as comfortable as any other controller. Yeah. Yeah. Like, all controllers this generation to me are very comfortable. Yeah. Like, I like all of them. Yeah. Can't complain. <laughs> I'm still, I think I'm falling still on the PS4, but I think it's mainly because I've played it more. Yeah, uh, I think I think I came to that conclusion too because only because I'm so used to that one now. Mm. But I go to touch I'm like, ooh, that feels good. But like, yeah, they feel different though too. But it's like that feels good too. And it's a little heavier. Feels good. But I think it's, it's the like, battery like, pack, maybe. Yeah. Have you ever like had that instance and stuff where you've played a specific like game console for a long while? Like for instance, I played the PS4 for a long while. Then I just uh, when I got rid of it and stuff, I went ahead and I got my One S. Then I start playing games in the controller for the first time. Like. Okay, I gotta get reoriented, orientated. It's like like reorient, like uh, you know, try to hardwire my brain in order to try to adjust myself. Maybe like a split second. I was like, oh, that's how I play that now. <laughs> I had a problem yeah. with that when I first got mine with Tomb Raider. Like aiming on like shooter games was was kind of difficult for me, just because of the where the left trigger or left analog stick was is now diff- was different. Yep. Uh, so that was the biggest issue. That's I had. never bothered me. Okay. What does bother me with the Xbox One controller? Because I play uh, lots of Nintendo consoles. Unlike for some reason, which is weird, because it actually like the the button usage is the same for Xbox One and PS4. Yeah. Like the A and the X are the same as like your action button. Yep. But they're opposite of Nintendo. And when I see if something about the co- like I don't know, if it's like, the, uh, I think the colors is maybe it's slightly different. But like the X Y B A thing, like they're they're like the same number the letters, but they're like switched around. Yep. It, yeah, it, it really fucks me because like every time I see the A, I go to push B on the Xbox One. I'm like, oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> and like, even though I know though, like A is like X on PS4, but it's just like I wish like they had their own maybe like numbers or something like something different because like I'll get. I mean, I'm gonna get used to this it, fine. But yeah. it's just like it's been such a long time since I played an Xbox uh, system. I forgot that weird transition when you actually are so used to a Nintendo controller because they literally use the same letters so it's like really weird but they're opposite yeah it's like odd but yeah <laughs> but the placement's the same with the PS4 so it's like that's where like you think I, it makes sense for me but it doesn't what helps me and it might be difficult maybe the one of the issues for you is that like when they have like the button props show up on the screen yeah they have the color of the button yeah but I'm never like looking at the controller okay Oh, well, no, but like, I just oh, like, A's over here. But I see the green. I don't even look at the letter. I just look at the color. Oh. And I'm like, oh, okay, I know that's green. I yeah. It's yellow. To- yeah. And yeah, I, I can't remember. Like, I don't know if that affects I know A's not. green. Yeah. And B is red. But yeah. the other two, I'm not sure which. One's, one's blue. Because. And one's yellow. Uh, y is yellow. And it's also, like, blue. Nintendo controllers have been that color, too. Yeah. So it's some weird. Pad and stuff like that. Yeah. But, like. <laughs> It's always like it's just interesting, but you no, know, through and through, I think it's cool. I can't wait to play games on it. Mm. So, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, one more thing. I've been playing uh, Bioshock finally, the remastered one from PS4 yep. that you let me borrow, Tyler. Um, man, do I love this game? I think this game is fantastic. I played the second one, yeah, only, and this game is like, uh, it's fantastic. It, it's just. To me, I, I don't remember every little thing from the second one, but it's like this game is is fantastic. I think it feels a little more streamlined to me than the second one. The second one feels very similar. Like it's like, oh yeah, this is like uh, like the second one is like more of the same with some extra things like uh, gameplay things added into it. Like you could be like the like the little girls. You could like 
there's gameplay moments where you, you were actually those people. Uh, yep. Were they little sisters? The little sisters. Little yeah. sisters thing. Little sisters. And, uh, but I feel like, uh, yeah, the, the first one's a little more on track, but I love the second one too. Like, uh, I can't really say, like, any particular thing stuck out, like, oh, this was way better than the second one. But I think because it's, like, the first one, and, like, I'm going back, and it's like, this is awesome. Like, this is where it started. And, like, I, it's really good. Uh, I had no issues with the game, except for the first time I put the game into the PS4. Uh, it, it downloaded it all. I went to go start it, and it kept crashing. I don't know why. It kept I crashing? Like the disc is, like, perfect, immaculate. Yeah. So I was like, what's going on? I was like, my PS4 is fucking up. I tried a couple other games. Everything worked fine. Uh, tried it, like, five more times. Kept doing the same thing. Finally, I got it to run. Now it hasn't stopped running. It's really weird. <laughs> Quick side note on that. Uh, I borrowed Call of Duty Infinite Warfare from my sister to play. Yeah. Same issue. Really? But everything else works fine. I can't play Infinite Warfare on my PS4. Really? Sure. Maybe it's some sort of, like, a lock or something on certain games where, like... Like, you don't know about... Yeah, exactly, you know? <laughs> I mean, it installs the game, of... it downloaded all mm-hmm. the updates, but it won't it won't uh, start the game up. That's ridiculous. It won't start it up still. It boots it up and gets, like, the... I started it up. I've been playing it. I haven't tried it in a few days, but when I, I tried it, like, Monday night and a little bit on Tuesday, and it, like, five or six times. Huh. Disc, fine, brand new game. Um, yeah. That's strange. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, your disc is immaculate. I looked at it. Checked it out. Like, what is going on here? Well, ended up working fine for a while. It's it's kind of skippity. Mm-hmm. Like when you go to go pick which one, Bioshock one or two. For some reason, the menu is like like stuff will pause and be all weird. Mm-hmm. But like once you get in the game, it's like until about I'm not sure how far I am. Uh, sort of, I'm in an area right now where it's called like uh, something P uh, Parithia. Have you got to the camera stuff yet? Oh, I'm past... Yeah, I'm a little ways past the camera stuff. Like, you're, one thing past the camera stuff. You're fairly... I would say you're probably 75, 80% through. Cool. So. I'm in a part where, like... Well, I finally got to a point where I was, like... Uh, like, out of the whole time, like, I, I've loved every moment until this one chapter so far. It's, like... It's kind of like a... I want to say... I know it's a term used all the time, but it's a fetch quest. Yeah. It's, like... But it's annoying because, like, I just went past all this stuff. Like, I it wouldn't let me grab it, though, at the time. I even, like, clicked on stuff. Mm-hmm. I didn't know what it was for. But, like, you're trying to, like, assemble, like, a nuclear type of bomb type of thing. No, exactly. And about... it's like, oh, go back to go to these, like, dead uh, big brothers or, like, Rosies and uh, bouncers. Yep. And it's like, okay. But it's like, I went past all this stuff. I saw all this stuff already. So it's just kind of like, but it's, it's it's no big deal. Like, yeah. It's just, it just, it's one of those things where it's like, it's kind of like one of those useless missions to me, where it's like, I literally went all through this stuff already. Like, and I was kind of backtracking, looking for, like, the dead bodies again. Yeah. Which I already saw. I same thing when you found the little cup, the little crawl space with the... Yeah, the, yeah. yes. I did, I killed all the big daddies, yeah. and then found it, and then I did, like, the thing you're supposed to do. You go find the ion liquid yep. stuff. And so then I had to go through and kill more big daddies to actually get the parts, and yeah. it's dumb. Yeah. That was the only, that's my only issue with the game so far, besides, like, a technical thing that also just started happening on the last actually the same area but like earlier in the area like I was playing the game and all of a sudden like uh, I come out of like the I died I keep dying I die this game all the time I come out of like the cryo thing like the glass cryo tube. chambers yeah, yeah. Shoo, come right back and like all of a sudden it's like you can only move left and right you can't move your head I mean you can like you can go but you can't turn, tilt your head in any direction huh? so like the joystick's off so, like, what I did was this, like, okay, I'm going to save it. I hope to God this doesn't fuck up everything. Save yeah. it. Turn off the... I had this three times now. Save it. Turn it off. Come back into it. But when I come back in, the controllers are fine. And it it only happens... It only happened in a few spots. It's weird. Like, when, like, uh... Because, hmm. like, when the big... The bouncers and the big daddies guys are walking around, like, it'll shake the... Vibrate and shake everything. Yeah. During that time, there's, like, flames everywhere and stuff spinning. Like, everything would just, like, kind of, like, like, freeze. And then, like, I couldn't move. But you could hear, like, the big bouncer guy come, and then I'll send me back to normal. Hmm. Like, weird little stuff like that. Oh, yeah. And, like, it just, yeah. No, it happened to me, like, four I was or five wondering times. if that happened to you. 
Yeah, he just like forty seconds go by and it's fine. Yeah, yeah. it's like whoa, what happened? But it's it's cool that it comes back. But it's like it's concerning for a while, especially yeah, if it's yeah, because it's like oh fuck, yeah, oh fuck. I had that happen a few times. Yeah, but I should have started with like yeah. I love the music. I love uh, it. Looks great. I love the yeah. I love the way the second one looked when I played it, and it's like uh, this like they made you know up res the textures probably and stuff it looks awesome. Feels cool. I love uh, the style, the weird atmosphere. But uh, one thing before I stop, because I've been going too long here, probably. All right. Uh, I can't believe how much this game is almost, in the way that it's laid out, is almost identical to mm, one of my favorite games of the last generation, which came out, I think, after this game. And that's called Dead Space. It's yeah. almost the same concept, even. like One year apart. It's like you go on the train, but you go on this like uh, metro station thing in mm-hmm. Bioshock, and it's like, and it's even like even the the extremes of like uh, uh, danger of like breaking out of the glass, you'd be dead from the atmospheric pressure is the same. Like you, you break out, you're under the ocean, you're dead. Oh, uh, space, you're dead. Like it's the same thing. You're like confined in the space. You know. Yeah. It's just like. It's just interesting how similar it is to uh, how, how similar Dead Space is to this game. Of course, it's like a different genre. It's like more of a horror, but there's horror in this game too. Yeah, definitely. But uh, yeah, just man, this game is they're so similar. Yeah, I wonder why I like this game. <laughs> I never thought about they're like very similar to me. Yeah, in the upgrades, weapons, system, everything. Yeah, is very similar. It feels very similar. I like it. I'm glad you liked it. I was yeah, wondering. dude, totally cool. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Uh, should be beating it pretty soon, I think. Are you gonna play Infinite? You think after this? Or? I don't know. I yeah. might give it back to you and go pick it up later. Are you sure? I mean, I'm not. I'm not. I'm in no hurry to get back. So. Yeah, yeah. I might. I might play it too. Like right. this. Like uh, this. Let me know if you need it back. No, I'm fine. Seriously, anytime. I got plenty of shit to play. I'm not worried about you know, <laughs> yeah. get back anytime soon. Okay, but yeah, totally awesome so far. Thank you for letting me borrow it. Yeah, I like uh, it. If you haven't played Bioshock, this game is from 2007, right? Uh, yep. This August. game still holds up fantastically, and I've never played this game, mm. so it's like not nostalgia at all. It's it's really cool. Yeah, I love all the weird stuff, upgrade systems, and weird powers and abilities you can get. It's awesome. That's great. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Really cool. Yeah, unique. It's got a lot of character. Definitely. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go first. Okay. Before Gables, uh, I played. I have talked about. I played a bunch of Recore over the, um, the course of the weekend. Um, I thought about Mafia Three being one of the more frustrating games to talk about. Um, uh-huh. <laughs> this blows it out of the water oh. as far as the frustration uh, because this game is so fucking fun to play. Yeah. I love the gameplay. I, I, I love the plat the platforming in this game is really is really good. Like the timing cool. everything about it, it is good. great. Um, the, the the combat is really cool. Um, little it's not very deep. Uh, it's basically like uh, there's every enemy is a different color, red, uh, blue and yellow. And you just switch to that color and the common color and it does more damage to them. Yeah. Um, and there's other things to do like you can do like uh, you could rip the cores out of them which is basically like, I guess the best way to describe it is like the heart of the robot mm-hmm. that you fight um, the soul of the robot yeah and you can you weaken them down enough you can rip it out of them and you can use that to upgrade your uh, your uh, friends you have uh, Mac Seth and I can't really know uh, yeah uh, there's the, like the rob- there's like the monk th- like the big gorilla type one uh-huh. there's the dog and then there's like the spider one um, and they each have their own abilities that they give you. Uh, the the gorilla type one, he can like break down walls for you to go into. It's got some of that Metroidvania kind of style to it. It's mm-hmm. like you can see things you, like yeah, like early in the game, you see things that oh, I, I need the I'm like I, I already know what the guys do because I've seen previews for it. Like oh, I'm gonna need the I'm gonna need the spider guy here to take me. Like he can like you can use him and like he you can attach him like with like a, a rope, not really a rope, but like tethered to him uh-huh. and he could take you up higher places or take you different places 
Um, the dog can like dig up uh, items for you or things, and, like, just random stuff throughout the world. Nice. And then like uh, like I said, the gorilla can like break walls down and shit like that. And um, but let's just say is could be retreading here. Is it uh, is it made by a lot of people that made Metroid Prime or no? Uh, a different game? I think it. It might or have some of the people. I think there's some people in it. I'm not. I can't remember for sure. Um, Would that be retro? I don't know. I know that there's something to do with uh, Recore. I think. Something. I think Recore had some people from the old, the old uh, retro studio. Yeah. Oh, okay. That worked on this game. That was a big deal. With this was Metro Prime people, which makes sense with looking at the the uh, the platforming elements and yeah. some of the powers. Um, but like like I said, the combat's not deep, but it's fun. I never got bored of it. Uh, the the upgrading system is pretty good. Um, I like the all, the all the friends you have, but the this game's been out for a couple months now, and I've been waiting for like just kind of because I knew it was buggy at the time, there's a lot of issues, and there's been a lot of updates, uh, just because I know because I installed them and just reading online about them, and there's still a lot of bugs and a yeah. lot of problems with this game. The loading time apparently is a lot better than it was, and it's still I, t- I actually timed it because I, I saw so because you, you see them constantly. Especially if you, this game is difficult. I'm, and not like, uh, I feel like sometimes it's, it's the, the difficulty spikes are, like, are kind of all over the place sometimes. Yeah. But it never feels like uh, unfair. Too hard. It, or yeah. I mean, ridiculous. It's, yeah. It's not like like overwhelming or I feel like it's my fault or it's the game's fault kind of thing. I mean, I, like I said, the spike, it spikes up here randomly. That's kind of frustrating. Um, it doesn't feel like there's a constant like kind of revving up to it. Um, but when you, every time you die, you have to go to, it loads up again. And it, after I, after fifteen of them, I started timing them, and they're anywhere from forty to fifty seconds on average. Um, and there's sometimes where you go, it loads you right back into that fight, and you're waiting. The loading screen is longer than the gameplay because uh, oh. you're dying so often, and just trying to like find better ways to fight enemies. And um, that's unfortunate. Yeah, and then there's parts where like I've had issues where like some of the platforming things where you're jumping on a moving platforms, mm-hmm. and then you're standing on the platform. And you're waiting for it to move so you can jump to the next platform. But the platform moves, and you're standing on it, but it moves, and you're still standing in that location, and you just drop. But even though, even though you're on the platform, oh. the platform moved, but it didn't take you with it. Or there's been times, actually, where that's happened, but instead of me dropping, like, it just left me hovering in the air. Uh, I've been stuck in, like, uh, the walls and stuck on things a lot, fighting <laughs> the camera a little bit. What did you do in the walls? Uh, just kind of worked my way out of it. <laughs> uh it's kind of did the weird like jumping around trying yeah. to work out of it. A uh, <laughs> couple crashes. Uh, the game it's just it, it just takes the flow out of it, especially with the loading time. It's just like I don't have a problem dying so much. Like there's games obviously like a Bloodborne, Dark Souls kind of games where I don't I don't want to have anything to do with that. But like yeah. like the, the instant jump back in is fine to me. It doesn't like I'll keep I'll play a lot longer, especially if it's one of those games where it's like it's the game not me kind of thing. Uh, but this is just like. All right, die. It's like, oh, Jesus Christ. And I'm going to wait 40, 50 yeah. seconds here. It's like, now I'm just annoyed. It's, it sounds like the issue I have real quick with, like, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze and Super Mario 3D World. What's the point anymore of having, like, a, an, a true game over? Yeah. Like, it knocks you all the way back. You know I want to keep playing that level. Yeah. What's I hope that stuff kind of slowly disappears. Yeah. But, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> uh, no, but that's a good point. I, yeah, I agree with saying on that. It's, it's kind of pointless at this point in gaming. A good example of a good way is uh, Super Meat Boy. Yeah, that's like... Boom, boom. Gets you right yeah. back into it. Boom. Yeah. Um, and if it was something more like that, or even like other games, you know, like a Gears of War, Uncharted kind of stuff, like, there's a loading screen, but it's like three or four seconds. I yeah, it's like that. most of it's already loaded and like ready for you. And the checkpointing system is really good. This one is all over the place inside the checkpointing. Like, there's been times where like... So I had like a big boss I had a fight, and I died like 15, 20 times fighting this boss. Um... But it starts you off like a cutscene. There's a cutscene, and I, so I'm in, I'm in a different area. Uh, I had to fight this wave of enemies, open this door, collect all the materials in this room, go to the thing, press this button, watch a, a cutscene, and then fight the boss. And every time we die, you had to go through that whole thing again. Oh. And so I, I not only am I waiting through a 40, 50 second long loading screen, oh. I am fighting through two, three, four minutes of baggage. Shit. Yeah. Um, and like I said, 15, 20 times fighting this guy. I'm more just pissed off, and then you're pissed off, so you're actually worse at this point. Yeah. Uh, so, so many times in this game where it's just like, I got frustrated, and I just put the game down. I'm like, fuck this game, I'm done. But I kept going back to it. And, um, so I was really enjoying that, and kind of the more, the, one of the big things you're trying to do is you're trying to find like, these, uh, 
I can't remember what they're called now, but they're like these uh, main cores, like they're like diamond looking, and they use them to like open up, like I guess not really temples, but like area, like like these like I guess temples best way to use it. Um, but there's like items in there and the way way to progress the story. Uh-huh. Um, there's side things you can do, side ones you can open up, uh, and you collect items, shit like that. It's a good way to collect items and um, things like that. Um, but it gets to the point. And this is where I, I stopped. The, I got done. I was like, "Fuck this!" Is that you, <laughs> you get to a, a like one? It, it's it's the main story I'm on, and I, um, I've done some side stuff. I, I went through and did a bunch of side temples, and I was trying because I was having so much fun with this game, doing yeah. the platforming things like that. Um, so I get to this point, it's like, "Oh, you need twenty, and I only have nine of these like the diamond fucking cores." And I'm just oh. like. It's like, I was like, okay, what's the best way to get this? Like, oh, you gotta go do all these things. It's like, it's the same reason I quit playing games like Dragon Age Inquisition um, and the last Assassin's Creed game, Unity, um, was just that once you make me do the side stuff or you don't tell me the importance of why I should, like, once you, like, this doesn't really side stuff. This is like, you should, you need to do these things to, like, progress through the game. And I get deep into your game and it's just like, now I gotta, like, just I'm only I'm not even midway through the game, and I gotta probably put three four hours to get the shit just to progress the game, and then I'll I'm I gotta use twenty of them, but the next thing I'm gonna need twenty five of them. So yeah. then throughout now I gotta collect not not just eleven, I have to collect twenty five. So you just expanded like it just it feels like a cheap way to make your game longer. Yeah. Um, and it's just kind of just rubbing the wrong way. I much as I love this game, I don't want like it just that just pisses me off, and it's just like I don't want to fucking go around and find these things because it's like finding these things like playing the game and doing the temple shit that's fun getting the shit to get into the temples not as much fun the world's not that it's kind of it's just a, a it's a dull world it's just a bunch of like broken out shit it's mostly just sand yeah and you just find the stuff scattered throughout the, throughout throughout the world yeah and it's just like everything looks the same so like the, the fast travel system they do have and it's not a very good one um it's just like I don't know like what they like the, the all, all the areas have different names but like nothing stands out so I don't know what like like I don't know what's what like when I go to like the oh. fast travel to an area it doesn't tell you like even though like the main mission's here it doesn't like say on the map where that area where you need to go to get there uh, on the map anyways if you like if you're in the main world it'll tell you but it, like it's just it's just a lot of there's just a lot of basic things that make this game unplayable to me but they they nailed every all the big core stuff but it's just it just the little thing is built up enough that it just turned me off. Yeah. Um, and it's just frustrating. Uh, I love, man, if they if they just change they fix the bugs and they change that shit with the diamond core stuff, I uh, I would I would be keep playing this game. That's yeah. Um, but that's you know, like I said. Uh, if you find, I, I it's a tough game. Like I'd recommend renting it or maybe if you can get at cheap. Least, at least check it out. Yeah, because if, if it's, you want, to. it's a great. So, like, there's some great shit there. Maybe maybe you'll like it more than I like it. You can get past that stuff more than I could. Uh, I mean, I put like 10, 12 hours in this game. Wow. Like, I really like this game. Maybe not 12. Maybe I'd say 8 to 10. Um, but yeah, it's great. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's a solid... I don't know. I don't know where to go with that. It's just... There's shit I like. And, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm but, feeling uh, a Donkey Kong 64 vibe. Yeah, really? Like a modern one. Yeah. Um, I don't know what it is. Like, I like the game, but there's things that suck. Yeah, just maybe if certain people get past those things, yeah. The others. Um, the other thing I did is I, I checked out the Pokemon Sun and Moon uh, demo. Did you play the demo? Yeah, I played through it. Uh, I liked it quite a bit actually. I did um, too. It's cool. You get a Greninja, I guess, in the main game for playing through it. Uh, Greninja. <laughs> um, so that was pretty cool. Um, I liked it enough that I went ahead and I uh, digitally pre-ordered, pre-downloaded uh, Pokemon Sun Moon. What's that, Sun Moon? Uh, Pokemon Moon. Yeah. Uh, moon. I, did, I, I did some. I did some research trying to find out the differences, and I couldn't find like a real good reason to go either way. So I just picked up Moon. I don't know. Moon I just like the legendary cool. one more, and the Moon and Sun, uh, just based off the pictures. Um, so I played that. Liked that a lot. It's more Pokemon, which is I'm cool with. I initially wasn't gonna get it, but I just I don't know. I kind of the, the Pokemon craze is kind of hit me now. That they yeah. were close, so I picked that up. Uh, cool. So I can't. Wait. I'll probably talk about it next week. Yeah. Um, when, is it, when is it released? The next Friday. The next Friday, okay. Week from the day. Uh, okay. But Watch Dogs comes out on Tuesday, so I'm juggling some shit around. Yeah. But luckily, the following week. different, though. Yeah, just, but they're both but they're still time pretty, sucks. pretty big, yeah. Yeah. 
for sure. But luckily, the following week is Thanksgiving, so five day weekend, four day weekend. It reminds me of like when 3D World came out at the same time as like uh, PS- same day as PS4. That and uh, Zelda for the 3DS. Link Between Worlds. Link Between Worlds. That was a tough one to juggle because they're both such good games to me. Yeah, both big games. It was tough. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. But Gables. Yes. Colonel what Gables. have you been playing, buddies? Well, since I have the new Xbox One S, I got that free month of EA Access, and I said, okay, what would I would like to like download and play? And you know what's kind of funny is all the options that were there. I mean, you had other big games. You had Dragon Age Inquisition. You had like uh, other like 360 games. But I decided since I have played some bit of those Madden games and stuff, I was kind of curious to see how Madden 25 would play. Why? Because, for one, I had already played, like, 2015 and 2016s. I haven't played this year's, but it's like... I just wanted to see, like, why. Like, just wanted to see if the game is as good as, like, the other games. And, uh, while I was playing this game, I... It was... It started to become more than apparent that, no. No, this, this game is actually a lot worse than I actually expected in terms of uh, the other Madden games that came out previously. Because Madden 25, I believe, was a exclusive? Not exclusive, but it was like... It was mostly advertised on the Xbox One when it first came out. Yeah, EA's got a partnership deal with That's not the newest Xbox. one? No, 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 no. Madden no. 25, that's... Madden 25 15. is like... Okay. Or 14. Gotcha. Yeah, it's like, 2000, it's like okay. Madden 2014, pretty much. It was the 25th anniversary. Okay. But yeah, they did the whole like weird naming stuff of the game. So what I basically go through every Madden is I go through the franchise mode and I go offline franchise mode because I'd rather do things with myself. And I go yep. through and uh, I pick a team. There's like it gives you three options. You can either choose a player to create and like go through the entirety. You can actually play maybe as a coach where you get the full control over the team, the offense, the defense, the special teams, and like do like death chart type of stuff and the last one's GM mode so the one I generally like had an interest in doing was just the player create a player so I actually created my own football player for the Oakland Raiders his name was Colonel Gables <laughs> <laughs> so I yes. I started just like the joke and Leah's like okay the legend of Colonel Gables it starts today so we go so I go through and I make him a quarterback because I love playing, like, the offensive side of football. So, when I first started to play a couple, a couple of the games and stuff like that, I was just trying to get used to the whole controls. And, and it's it's just, like, basic, like, every other Madden game. It's easy to pick up and play. You understand some of the, the patterns, some of the grip things. It's like, you've I've played so many of them over the past 20 years. It's like, okay, I understand. Now I go through the regular season, it's like there were some little glitches, some little hiccups, like, here and there and stuff, where, yeah, some things were funny, like, say, players going through other players, like, entirely, like, almost, like, to the extent where you have a defender, right, and it's like, it goes through this little cutscene where you're supposed to, like, pick the plays, and all of a sudden I see one of my players, like, go completely through the character model of another one, and I'm like, okay, that's kind of weird. (laughs) <laughs> oh no it still does that in Madden 17 oh that's that's that's, that's, that's pretty funny <laughs> that's still pretty funny to me but uh, other things that were so fun was uh, because you only have control of one player and that is whatever position that you do you cannot control all the other like uh, players that are on your team so yep. there were some hilarious moments that my linemen would do that my freaking wide receivers would do and especially my running back would do there was one point when like i was snapping the ball right and for some odd reason my quarterback tripped and fell down like backwards and he was on the ground for like about a good solid few like three or four seconds before he tried to get back up and all of a sudden the defender tackled him down for like a loss of three like a loss of three yards i checked the replay i was like what the fuck just happened i go through and my character model tripped over the fucking hip of my fullback. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's the equivalent, it was like the equivalent of like, say you're playing say a Mario game, right? And all of a sudden you're going through, you do like 
you go through and all of a sudden you trip over a Goomba or something and go down a fucking pit or something like and lose a <laughs> life. That was the equivalent of that. I'm like, what? That'd be a cool touch. <laughs> that would actually be pretty funny. <laughs> but... Anyway, no, no, those character models are not supposed to do that. <laughs> right. They're supposed to, the AI is supposed to be smart enough to where they would conveniently go through and go their specific routes that the computer wants them to go so you can go through and just do what you got to do. Instead, the computer had a little issue to where I didn't drop back fast enough to try to go for the pass and it just ended up tripping my player and I just tipped back over. But... Uh, I've had a lot of wide receivers, completely catchable catches, right? Like, they were, it was literally inside their hands, and all of a sudden it's like, they go to catch the ball, and uh, the ball is literally spinning around the top of their hands and stuff, and they drop the ball. I mean, yep, it's... that's still a problem. It's literally, <laughs> like, a few inches. I mean, I kid you not, Justin. It's literally, like, a few inches this ball is away, like the top of their hands and it's just like standing there like a top like it's sort of hovering over their hands it's and all of a sudden it's sixty four invisible plastic wall exactly <laughs> only Still it's around. on a football models <laughs> and you know what's pretty funny is whenever you go to like say choose your week per week things and they get this whole character model for their little twitter sort of like highlights and all the other shit that they do because that's the thing about Madden is the past couple of years is they've had this little twitter wall where they have all these sports like uh People like Skip Bayless or LeVar Arrington or like Trey Wingo to say things mm-hmm. about other players around the league and your players and your team. But what you don't know is they actually use a little bit of character models from where they like they like show the specific player in the in model inside the game. And it's fucking hilarious seeing like the look and expression of their reactions of like what they say. It's like, it looks like some it looks like some players that flew to my uh Created character like he's been shot or something like that. It just looks like he's just like not happy to be there at all. <laughs> Why am I alive? Why'd you create me? Yeah, it's it's Why? it is so funny just looking at the expressions of some of them. But I figured out that they were just pausing certain character models on the field because at one point I looked at the little screen while it was loading up and the towel of a player was like fluffing up like in the wind and stuff or like where. It was supposed to stop. <laughs> so, it was kind of jarring at first because, you know, you're so used to, like, static, like, still images and all of a sudden you just see something just, like, flapping on the character. <laughs> it was not supposed to. <laughs> it's funny shit and quirks like that that actually, like, kind of made the game a little bit more enjoyable because it's so stupid and the game is supposed to be, like, hyper-realistic that anything that's not is just, like, okay, this is a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> then you're like, oh, yeah, Video okay, game. so you can the it. number one thing that's happened to me while I was playing through this franchise mode was the incident with my running back, number 20. I, the, For the Raiders during that year, they had Darren McFadden as their running back. He's no longer with the team, obviously. And so I was going through a standard run play. I handed it off to the CPU because it was like, I was like three yards before I reached the end zone for a touchdown. And so when I handed it off to my running back, and I uploaded this video onto Facebook, if ever, like, uh, anyone wants to go through and try to look at, like, some of the other stuff on my page or whatever the hell. And uh, I hand it off to him, and he just proceeds to run right, and there's no defenders anywhere close to him. I mean, they're all, like, far back in the end zone. And he has, like, about a yard or two before he crosses the pylon and stuff like that to go into the end zone. And he runs an additional five or six yards and goes out of the freaking out-of-bounds area. And I lose a yard on the play. I'm like, what? Where are you going? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> it's like, I yeah, I they... literally had a freak out. Like, I was like, gee. <laughs> They've had an issue with running with computer running backs in the in the the player mode for the for about a decade now. The running game in the, that mode is awesome. Yeah, I, I kind of I stuff. actually yeah. agree with you full heartedly. So the funny I think the one the thing about it is I actually went through and I finished the franchise mode today. And uh, what 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 luck would be having and stuff is uh, normally I'd pick the Forty ers because they're like they're they're my favorite football team. 
I decided to go with the Raiders because, obviously, I am kind of burnt out of the 49ers, and I went ahead and tried to. I created my quarterback, and you know, went all through. I ended up, I, it, here's something funny. I went and I played through the game on Rookie because that's basically my enjoyment of the Madden games. Because with my video game philosophy is if I can enjoy it on the like the like the easiest difficulty or like even on a rookie or an easy mode or whatever the hell, then I'll go through. I'll probably play it through again whenever I feel like. But uh, I went through the entirety of this game, little to no competition besides one game, and that was like earlier on the season when I was facing the Denver Broncos. And my team has the absolute worst defense in the league. They're thirty second in the league. My offense is rated number one. And how that offsets is when I was facing off against the Denver Broncos, it's like, okay, I scored about 62 points in that game, right? 62 points, and they scored about 59. And somehow Peyton Manning managed to throw over 700 and something yards in that game. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> but, the defense sucks. Yeah, defense absolutely sucks. But uh, the funniest part about it is the defense continued to suck, and I kept on scoring, like, touchdown after touchdown and I ended up like uh, breaking a couple records obviously receiving and like all this other shit for other players running backs and stuff for as incompetent as the CPU was it didn't have a problem going through and breaking a single season rushing record in about a few games <laughs> but uh, huh. no I got to the Super Bowl finally and uh, as luck would have it I, be, I was facing the San Francisco 49ers in the Super Bowl so I look at this I'm like I cannot plan this what the fuck? <laughs> I don't choose the Niners, and all of a sudden I face them at a computer simulated thing where they went 13 and 3, managed to beat the fucking like, Philadelphia Eagles. That's the thing. It's like the Seahawks were beaten, the Eagles were beaten, and all of a sudden I'm like, okay, I'm going to go ahead. You know what? I hate to do this, but uh, I got to bring old Yeller to the shed. So I went ahead and I beat them 76 to 17. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm done. Okay. Well, that was a fun game deleted the game off my hard drive and uh yeah after that whole experience i i feel like i never want to play that game ever again <laughs> understandable so yeah that's pretty much all i've been playing <laughs> okay well, very cool man um well we have a couple topics to jump into um i don't know if you guys have seen the uh, mass effect andromeda trailer oh you guys yes um, so I'm curious, what, what did you guys, uh, think? I'm actually curious, Justin, you haven't played the Mass Effect games before. No, I haven't played one of them. Uh, mm. this is the one where it's, like, a lot of it's, like, a real-life footage. Like, rockets taken, uh... Then I watched something Yeah, then I watched a couple of them. But, well, there's... I think that one might be it. It's, like, it's, like, two minutes long. Three minutes long. Oh, I did not watch that one. Oh, okay. It was, like, 45 <laughs> seconds long. Oh, no, that was, the, that was one from a couple weeks ago. Dang it. Uh, this one dealt more, jumped it. more into the story part of, uh... Oh. The game, um, it's pretty good. We're checking it out. Uh, check it out. But uh, no, I, I thought it was a uh, goes back to the Red Dead Redemption kind of thing where they where they advertised ahead of time for in seven day, uh, November seventh, and then they didn't show like they showed like maybe three seconds combined of gameplay. Yeah. Um, but uh, so that that irks me a little bit. But overall, as a fan of the original trilogy, uh, I'm. Definitely excited, uh, looking more into, like, this one takes, so, going to the, uh, behind the, the kind of the, not behind the scenes up, but, like, kind of what's going on, uh, in between Mass Effect 2 and 3, um, Earth sent off, or, like, all the, the, the bunch of the main races got together, and the Tyrians, and the Quarians, and a couple others, and the uh, humans got together and shot a, uh, ship, a spaceship, and a few other ones off to Andromeda. And they put them all in hypersleep or whatever for, and it took 600 years to get there. Uh, and this is basically them waking up, uh, and it, it, chaos ensues, obviously, with this. And it just jumps more into kind of what's going on with that. And, uh, because you can always pick between playing a male and a female. Uh, basically, the other characters, so if you pick a male, you have a twin brother or sister. And, uh, there's a brother and sister of the twins. And whatever one you pick, uh, the other one's just a computer and they're still in your group kind of thing. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I can't remember their names. Um, so it's all new, new. Yeah, new this people. is this is 
technically going to take about 600 years uh, in, the, yeah. in the future of the original. That's right. got me personally more excited if it was just like a continuation because I haven't played any of the other ones. Yeah, me too. I would rather have uh, that story's done and over with. So I'm, I would rather have a complete separation from cool. the old one. Uh, but no, I've, I've the they, Bioware is great at telling stories. Uh, the, the story trailer is really good. Uh, Game Awards in December December first. Uh, they're going to show the first real gameplay trailer. Oh, cool. For, December 1st. Yep. I'm excited for December 1st. There could be some surprises there. Yeah. Game Awards is going to be pretty Never good. Never know. Yeah. I think it's like uh, Friday this year or something like that. Thursday or Friday. I'm cool. excited. I hope it's not two and a half hours or so like it's been. Um, it's a little long. <laughs> uh, but Gabe, you watched it. What did you think? It will be. Well, I thought it was kind of different, you know, in terms of like everything else that's been a part of it. Because I was kind of expecting them to do like a continuation from... The end of uh, the main true ending to Mass Effect 3, but I'm not going to say too much about it because I know Justin probably will play something like that eventually, but... It's all backwards compatible. Then. Well, yeah, it's backwards compatible, the yeah. Mass Effect trilogy. It just uh, went off this week because EA has been on the ball with their access games for some odd reason. You can get the third one on the Wii U. I know. You could play the third one on the Wii U if you wanted. But, uh... Yep. <laughs> but, <laughs> and... <laughs> with that. But anyway, on the on the Andromeda trailer, I thought it was really cool. Like a lot of the thing cutscenes, they're like little snippets of like little tidbits of like how some elements of the gameplay would work. And I kind of liked the whole. There were some parts I kind of liked with when there was gameplay things shown, and it looked like kind of it looked pretty beautiful. The cinematic stuff, like sprawling across while you're like running away from like like aliens and all the other stuff. But, uh, yeah, I definitely want to see more of it. I don't know if the, the award show thing in December is going to show more gameplay of it, I'm I'm all I'm on board. I want to see more of it. Yeah. Makes me more excited for uh, Game Awards, especially when... You know, we always look forward... It's always kind of fun to look for surprises, but now that we know stuff, this is coming, it makes yeah more exciting. I'm totally. definitely more looking forward to that. Um, yeah. We'll, can't wait for December first year for that. But... Moving on, I think this might be the last one of the week. Uh, so, kind of, this was like a rumor, I think, last week or two weeks ago, and then Nintendo declined yeah. it, or said it wasn't the case, and it kind of actually was the case. Mm-hmm. Um, the uh, Nintendo is ending the production for the for the Wii U soon, mm-hmm. uh, which we kind of figure Europe couldn't get them anymore after, like, September or something yeah, like that. Yeah, they're talking about, like, uh, look into, like, order as much as you want to now, because you might not be able to get any more basically yeah oh dude so, uh, the wii u is totally going to be a collector's console come from like a year or two from now and especially when it comes to five years down the line i mean i'm sad that the whole console and stuff is uh, ending its lifespan it was on the market for like a little bit of like almost four years and stuff but mm-hmm. the sales of it oh, obviously it's a shame it's like 13 yeah. million units sold like across the u.s and like everywhere else in the world i mean but uh, oh. there were a lot of great games that I played on the Wii U. If it ends now, yeah. I mean, personal favorites. I mean, there's like there are three favorites. You know, my top three obviously would be like Mario Kart Eight, Super Smash Brothers, and Super Mario Maker. I mean, those are great games, all of them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that was a question I had though. Is because with the with kind of the official end of it, um, our three favorite Wii U games. If we could only take if we could take the Wii U off to an island. And only take three games with us. What would they be? Um, what would uh, Josie? You, you got your. I know. I told you before the show. And you're some. Diff- you want me to go first? Or do you, uh, or yeah. you have yours? I think. Yeah. Um, let's see. Go first. You go first, Tyler. Okay. Mine's uh, the big one. The, the probably my probably my personal favorite. Super Mario 3D uh-huh. World. On it. Um, Kind of the other ones were very difficult. There's like five or six that I, I would I was going between for these final two spots, but uh, I'd probably go Cap- Captain Toad or Toad Toad Tracker. Yeah, Toad Tracker. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Uh, <laughs> and Tracking them toads. maybe maybe a bit of surprise, uh, but I would go Frederick uh, Resurrection of Music, the piano game. Really? Wow, that game was fantastic. I go back and play it like a couple times game. a year. I was stuck in <laughs> the spot for like fucking an hour talking where he's like. Beat that game. His fingers like he's like, it's done. I'm like what? <laughs> he's crazy on that piano. That's crazy. So good. I beat the game like six times. <laughs> I need to go back and play the game about a year and then go back to it. Awesome man. Cool. Uh, 
But yeah, that's mm. probably my. So there's some great, some great games in that Wii U. Yes, there are. This is a hard choice. So what do you guys think? Choices. What do you guys think of like the whole like uh, about like not only this the, the the console things ending and stuff like that, but uh, do you really think that uh, they're going to be porting a lot of the stuff to the like the Switch? You know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. I do. The thing is, like the, the Wii U, I mean, not like a lot, but uh, at least one. three or four. I would say maybe five. Smash Brothers, make Mario Kart, Mario Maker, Mario Maker, Smash Brothers. Splatoon. I would say at least yeah. half of their first party games, at least. And they might even have 3D World on there just, and, just to have on there. Yeah, uh, but it all depends. Like we were saying, like earlier, like is it going to be like you can get Wii U digital games on there? Maybe not. Yeah. If they're going to remake I hope that's the case. Uh, I mean, at yeah. least maybe like, I'm like the, curious, the direct know. ports, but like, I'm sure they're going to update I some. think it's going to be like yeah. sort of a uh, remaster sort of thing for game. some of their Wii U like games and stuff because, heck, we've seen snippets here and there, even from their little mini three-minute announcement thing for Switch where it's like, it looked like a brand new Mario game that was shown. Obviously, that was probably a little bit yeah. of a demo or tease or something like that for a new Mario game that they had because, well... Heck, when was the last time you actually saw, like, a re-release of, like, a Mario game, like, really at launch <laughs> for, a, like, a console for Nintendo? So it's like... <sighs> uh, DS. Yeah, Super Mario 64 yeah, DS, 64, but that's handheld stuff, really. I'm talking about, like, actually full-on yeah. console. I know what you mean, though. No, I, I to me, like, I don't necessarily I'm not a big fan of it. I hope they don't go too heavy on it and rely on it too much. But I get why, because I think the the Wii U had, like, the, the first party games were fantastic. Yes, I think. yeah. It's, My opinion's from the best Nintendo's made. They are. To me, as far as first party goes, it's the best. Nintendo the best console. Smash Brothers, the best yeah. Mario Kart, in my opinion. Plus, Splatoon's fantastic. Splatoon is fantastic. I just wish I would have played more of it online when I had the chance. Mike's favorite Mario game. Uh, Mario 3 oh, that's, World. Yeah, uh-huh. that's great, too. Bayonetta 2 was a great game. One of my Captain favorites. Toad was a great game. I mean... Bayonetta 2. Yeah. Yeah. There's some, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of great games that not a lot of people played, so it makes sense for them to try to recoup some I of that know, money yeah. and also Even some of the, see all these great games that no one played. Yeah. I don't think they'll be, like, huge deals. I think they'll be, like, more, like, padding a little bit. Yeah. Just to have. But, like, I, I don't think they'll be, like... They'll be, I don't think they're, like, be, like, boom, like, this brand new Mario Kart game at all. Like, no. Like, but it depends on what they do. But I don't. I don't really. I just hope. I'm curious. I think, like, be, I, think I, I hope it's like maybe marketed in a way where it's like uh, maybe cheaper than even sixty dollars. That's what I was gonna. That's what like I was gonna say. If they come out sixty dollars, I'm not gonna. Yeah, I could. I'll probably buy I don't know if I buy them anyway, just because I have my Wii U. But like, I if someone hasn't played them before, to me the online if the online's really good set up on that and like I would you know I, I would love that and like a bunch of friends bought that yeah like, that, like the people like the community I play with now yeah there's a lot of factors uh, I mean maybe I would check I would probably pick up like a, like a Splatoon or Mario Kart 8 yeah. I buy it regardless only yeah. because I'm a huge Nintendo fan obviously as well as probably a lot of the other people here for doing the podcast but it's like yeah that's just the thing even if it is like a bunch of like Wii U ports at launch and stuff like that if it's portable and it looks fantastic and stuff like that then really i have no qualms about rebuying it <laughs> it, it all depends and i feel like maybe they'll treat all these games that we're talking about maybe more like a platform like they've been saying for a long well, time well maybe if well here's the thing about like they're gonna have one for the whole generation yeah. maybe i don't know maybe that would be the case gonna, and maybe it's that. gonna be less but expensive to buy these games the game you know because if you're just gonna buy them and it's your little cart or something to put in this handheld, maybe they're going to be like maybe 40 bucks or 50 bucks, you know? That's a good point. Yeah, you never know. Because it's less, uh, but... Sorry. Yeah. Did, did you have three of your favorite games? Yeah, yeah. I did. I said... We, su- you said I sorry. said Mario Kart 8, Super Smash Brothers, and Super Mario oh, Maker. <laughs> nice. Those are the three best ones I played on that console. <laughs> okay. I'll go Pikmin 3. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard. Um, I got a bunch, but uh, between these, this is the hardest one. Uh, it's got to be your, your game of the year last year, right? 
Mario Maker? Maybe. No, Splatoon. Oh, Splatoon, Splatoon. yeah. But Mario Maker was two or three. Three. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was like be- between like Splatoon and uh, 3D World. But maybe I go for Splatoon just because. Yeah. Like, I love 3D World. Like, it's... It's one. Of, it's it's, uh, it's fantastic, but it's like it didn't it didn't ooh me and awe me like Galaxy do. Right. So I'm gonna go with Splatoon. Okay. Okay. All all together, all good list. Yeah. Mine's best because I had Frederick uh, oh, Resurrection. Oh, oh, oh. The best. The best you game. Don't have to mention that. The best know. game of the entire we generation. Uh, we lost. Get over. It. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all did. Everybody's <laughs> lost because none of people bought that damn game. Like two dollars people could buy it. I think it's on iPhone. I think it's on iPad too. I might, I might just buy it for the iPad and iPhone. I think it is on there. I think, you told I think me. it was initially an yeah, iPad game yeah. and they transported it over. Oh, jeez. Um, and then go play the letter. The worst game of the planet. <laughs> oh my god. Actually, no one buy that game. You don't want to get that first time money. the best game of this generation. <laughs> no. I love it. It's Everything a, they make. It's a bad They stole my money. It's a horrible uh, version. Me too. <laughs> I've donated to Copper some, pot or cobble pot pipe, or something. Yeah, something like that. Doesn't I don't matter. know. It's gone. I've donated to him three times. I and... almost gave him a hundred bucks to get a picture. Oh, no. I'm so, I was I so gave retarded. Him, I gave I'm him ten. I'm that. annoyed. Oh, no. I mean, I cobble mean, pot. Come on. Tree Falls Studios. Uh, we love you. Don't Come give, back. Don't, don't give them money. Us. They're not good. Don't leave us. Just make sure the next game you make doesn't make us sick. <laughs> and also, when the next time you ask for money... For a game, make sure you actually release it. That'd be nice. Yeah, because uh, and then really instead of releasing six other games instead, so say you never existed. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, <laughs> you know what? I think that might wrap up the show this week. Yeah, it's something to wrap up the show this week. Uh, we're a little over time, so we're gonna skip the retro game of the week this okay. week. Um, but don't don't forget, guys, extra dash live dot org. Check that out. Uh, raising money for a good cause. And don't uh, give Tree Fall Studios money. Uh, <laughs> so you got a game there first. Maybe. Yes, maybe. Don't even, don't even buy the game. <laughs> don't, just don't give them money. Cabo Pot. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, uh, if you guys want to hear more from us, we have a Facebook page and group, uh, Jing Gaming Podcast, on there. So like us and join us on there. On Twitter, we are at Jing Gaming Pod. So follow us on there. A good place to go. It's usually when. Uh, Show first goes up, the first place to find out about it. Um, on YouTube, we're uh, Generation Gaming. Mm-hmm. Show goes up on there, um, and also we p- post the videos. I posted the videos on there from uh, some streams from Extra Life. Uh, must post your uh, Outlast Two demo oh, playthrough yeah. on there. Cool. Uh, so whenever we do streams, I usually, um, if able to, I'll post them on. Let me the... interrupt here. Are we also on Pornhub? <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, I am. Okay. I, I thought one of us, uh, That's why we're so popular in Europe. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> cool. I'm a big fan of the Shires of Corn. Um, but yeah. Legal here. Yeah. <laughs> um, Which is a whole disease thing. <laughs> uh, but anyways. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, YouTube. Check us out on there. Subscribe and like our videos. Give us a thumbs up. Um, and if you listen to the show on YouTube, we're also on iTunes. So, you know, uh, maybe just a five-star review. Four is fine. Three is fine as well. Um, but yeah, I think. Oh, and uh, Twitch, uh, Gin Gaming Podcast on there. Uh, I did a bunch of streaming over there during Extra Life, like I said, uh, and do some more. Got better internet connection now, so streaming will be more reliable. I can actually do like 720 and 60 frames per second. Oh, cool. Which is kind of cool uh, now, so I'll be doing some more streaming now. Because awesome. before it was like kind of rocky. Um, but yeah. Uh, Thank you guys so much for listening. If you, oh, I've already said that. Wow, don't said the outro again there. Uh, no, Woo. thank you guys so much for listening. I was your host. I was Tyler. I've been Justin, and obviously I've been the Jack of Hearts, also known as Colonel Gables. Until next okay. time, everybody. G G. Alan. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.